Hey everybody, as you all know, April is Autism Awareness Month. As we near the end of April, we like to provide you with two excellent resources for students on the spectrum. Many students on the spectrum are visual learners. Social stories are a great way for students to connect with and learn about topics using visual storytelling paired with traditional text. Stories are created to target specific areas, such as social-emotional situations, functional life skills, and community outings, to name a few. Today, we will take a look at two resources to create meaningful social stories for your students. All right, so the first resource we're going to take a look at today is Tar Heel Reader. And when you log in, you'll notice there are two buttons here. One is for finding a book, the other is for writing a book. So we want to write a book because we want to create a quick social story that we're able to use with students. So it's a very, very, very basic user interface. First, we're going to look for pictures. So we'll do brushing teeth. So we'll search for a toothbrush. Let's so we'll put the toothbrush right here. Simply add to book. Let's go ahead and get another picture. We want to get all our pictures up first, and then we're going to add text to it um, after we've chose the right picture. So next, we will go with toothpaste. That's pretty good. And one more. Let's go ahead and add brush the teeth. Perfect. All right, once you selected the pictures you want for the story, you'll just come right down here to step two. Oh, I should also mention you can upload your own pictures as well, which is really helpful for some students. So click here and add text. So let's say. And you can stay right within this window to add your text to the images. So paste. And brush. Alright, so that's our book. Last thing you'll do is add a title, so let's say brush teeth, brushing teeth. And once you have an account, it will actually just auto-generate you as the author. There are many languages you can choose from, which is extremely helpful. All right. And then from there, you would just simply publish the book. The nice thing about Tar Heel Reader, um, a writer, I should say, is that it will upload into the database of existing titles. So somebody can be searching for brushing teeth as well. You could also tell them your username and they could search you as an author to see all the different books you've created. Uh, and finally, there are plenty of accessibility features built right into Tar Heel Reader. So once you've created your book, that student's able to listen to the book being read to them. There is switch access as well, so up to three switches to be able to turn the page left, turn the page right, and select to engage with the text. Uh, and there is also touchscreen support on iPads and other touchscreen devices. The second resource we'd like to take a look at today is using BoardMaker 7 to create social stories. So simply open BoardMaker 7, click New to create a new document. Once the templates load, we're going to go with a printable activity today. So here on the left, we click Printable, Books and Presentations. And we want to include some text with our pictures today. You don't have to do that. There are a couple different choices. We're going to go ahead and do that. So we'll do text below, traditional style book. Click create. And all the uh, writing that's currently on the template just sort of gives you a prompt of what to do as you're creating your book. So for the title, we will call it asking for help. And you can do uh, just a simple board maker search for an image. So we'll type help. Let's go ahead and just go with the first image. So there we go. There's our book, our title, and an illustration for the front page here. Uh, simply work your way through. Everything is pre-labeled for you. Page one, page two, cover, etc. So let's say step one might be raising your hand to ask for help. Google search, raise hand, see what we get. Oh, there you go. The nice thing too is that you're always able to do a web search if you'd like to use real pictures or you can import media. So maybe the student enjoys sort of acting out these, um, these different ideas, which you could then capture and put into the book so they can see themselves in the story, which is also very motivating and reinforcing. 
So let's go ahead and finish our book. After we raise our hand, we want to wait our turn. So let's find the picture for wait. And we'll keep our book pretty short and sweet here. So we'll finish with one more page we'll do. Ask a friend. So if you waited and get a response, maybe you want to ask a friend for help. So that's a for friend. All right, that's good. So the nice thing about Boardmaker 7 is prior to saving the document, you can always look at what you've created to see if it's something you might be interested in saving and printing, uh, or if you need to go back and touch things up. So you can totally take a look at the book. Here we go, it's asking for help. This is what the student would see once you print it out. And wait your turn and ask a friend. Um, the other point I'd like to make is that you can also create uh, books as well in the interactive section of Boardmaker 7, which is beneficial because you can run those on a smart board uh, it can do text-to-speech, and you're also able to uh, export those to Student Center so students could read those books at home uh, or in any other setting that they would need extra practice with. All right, that's creating uh, social stories in both Tar Heel Reader and in Boardmaker 7. Thanks.